Well, it's a pretty nice morning here. It's in the low 40s, but man, sunny. I can handle this. Everything's not snowed on. That's a real good sign. I might have to go to the uh, walking track over there and put in a few minutes. Get out and limber my body up a little bit. Mostly doing this little video to uh, check my settings. I, I reset everything in my GoPro to see if it would make it a little sharper. I'm starting to mess around with settings on it because I had some, I thought pretty good footage, but it just didn't work out really well. This is just going to be a short one. This is my area that I work out of. I've taken 10 videos of it, hoping it would get better, but it's pretty well at a state of chaos that it's going to stay at, I believe. Uh, I got a little area I ship from here. That scale's probably going to show that it looked like it's uh, blinking on and off because of the frame rate. <laughs> I've noticed that on a few of the other videos. It looks kind of weird. It's it's really not broken. It works. Uh, this is a Bose radio. It's one of the older ones. Acoustic, acoustic wave music system. The sucker sounds good. I got it when I was in Florida visiting Jeff in uh, August, I think it was. Picked this up yesterday. It was a Conair little bath spa of a thing they sell for pretty freaking good like 30 bucks i ran across this for a couple of bucks it's a uh, interesting in that it's a J japan built um old school with the leds in it i thought it was kind of cool it's not real uh intense not a lot of scientific calculations there but pretty primitive ran by the thrift yesterday and picked up a few little things i got this from my buddy jimmy that's uh, been doing watercolors he's in amarillo i thought it'd be kind of funny to send that to him this is a neat little step and it's tiny for and it's really sturdy and they sell for about 20 bucks new so i don't know i may keep it and use it seems like my arms are getting shorter on some of this stuff there's me some camping porcelains and uh these stupid things are like yuppie marshmallow sticks and they've got them listed for about 20 bucks online 2025 so i don't need them but i figured i'd buy them to sell snag this mr coffee cafe frap for 7.99 i've got another one of these they're pretty darn cool uh it you put the coffee in the in there this one even has a little gold filter that came with it and uh you uh get this all stuck together and put on there and this is a, a blender here so you turn the power on and hit that button and step back and it brews the coffee into the pot here you've already put ice and milk and stuff in it, it says max ice there so you don't want to it doesn't want you to overfill it and it'll sit there and brew and then all of a sudden it'll scare the crap out of you because it'll kick on and start blending <laughs> and you're never used to it and it's pretty loud this one's even got the little user's manual which is kind of cool like i said i bought one of those already and i used it several times it's does a pretty darn good job if you're into that sort of coffee thing which i'm really not it's uh got a lot of calories in it and that's one of the last things i need so anyway what else we got here yeah the mrs t i've got to get that i think that'll be a fast list and a fast flip it was 4.99 so less than five bucks with my old guy discount and uh it works i threw some, threw some water in it and let it perk through and clean up a little bit the little it's kind of cool the little teapot thing goes on top there while you're brewing it and then it's just got a basket in there like a mr coffee and you can put uh, tea bags in it or i suppose you could probably put a filter and loose tea in it same same as and it's got the little little teapot and it gets uh it's hot down there too so it warms up the teapot it's pretty cool like i said i just wanted to kind of 
check my settings out and thought I'd go ahead and put some footage out just in case it uh, turned out good. I'll maybe throw it up on there. Always willing to try something to see what people want to see. This Cuisinart thing, just one more thing before I click off here. Pro Custom 11 Cup uh, food processor. It's really nice. It's it's new inside. It's all same as somebody, I think somebody probably made bread in it because this little lid here that's not going to come off has kind of a a flour residue on it or did have I'll wipe most of it off yeah there's some you can see maybe so I think they tried it and just didn't like it it's missing the little pusher that goes in here and oddly enough I ordered I, I looked online and <laughs> some of my fellow eBayers had one for 13 bucks shipped so I just ordered that sucker, so it ought to come in this week. I'll make it a complete deal. Um, these waffle irons, some of the dang silly waffle irons are worth quite a bit, oddly enough. This one's a fancy little heart design. It's got a pre disastered little bump on it there. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's not as bad as it looks probably on the camera. It's... Uh, not going to hurt anything it's just not perfect anymore oh my bike is getting boxed in by boxes i'm gonna have to knock all that stuff loose and get it out this weekend and or the next few days while it's still warm i'm not waiting for the weekend get it out and start it and maybe run it up and down the road a little bit to limber it up everything should be good to go on it i just keep it on the tender it's i unhooked it to uh, hook something in a day or two ago vacuum cleaner I think but it ought to be fine anyway there's always something thanks for dropping by I'll talk to you later take it easy